Hello and welcome. My name is Carlos Cordeiro. I'm an Intel Fellow and the wireless CTO of Intel's Client Computing Group. Today we have something very special to share with you. Something that has only been made possible for the close collaboration with our friends at Broadcom. And that's why I would like to introduce to you a very special guest, Vijay Nagaranjan. Vijay is the Vice President of Broadcom's Wireless Connectivity Division. Vijay, it's great to have you here today. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, Carlos. Thank you so much for having me here. I am so excited to be here. I think we have something really cool to show, which is the fruits of all of our collaboration together on Wi-Fi 7. Super excited. That, that's fantastic, Vijay. And, you know, can you please tell us a little bit more about what Wi-Fi 7 brings to the table? You know, before you do the demos, I think it's important for people to understand why Wi-Fi 7 is disruptive. One, it is the second generation of Wi-Fi that really makes use of the pristine 6 gigahertz band. Two, it makes use of wider channel bandwidths, at higher order modulation schemes to get you greater speeds and feeds. Not just that, it introduces this concept of multi-link operation that really enhances latency performance and determinism and also increases network capacity. All of these put together do, does two things for us. One is it, Wi-Fi now really complements multi-gig broadband coming into your homes. And two, it really works very well with respect to future AR, VR type use cases. If you look at the KPIs, we've seen that Wi-Fi 7 can actually bring us over five times better network capacity. Not just that, in terms of latency performance, we've seen two orders of magnitude better latency performance with Wi-Fi 7. And with respect to AR, VR type devices, 15 times improvement in determinism. All of this is just fantastic. It's going to introduce a brilliant consumer experience for all of us. With that, Carlos, what do we have today? Vijay, we have altogether three demos to really show the benefits of Wi-Fi 7. Two demos with Wi-Fi 6 and one demo with Wi-Fi 7. The first demo, we have Wi-Fi 6 operating in the 5 gigahertz band. And as we all know, the 5 gigahertz band does not have really the number of channels that we have available today in the 6 gigahertz band, for example. Therefore, practically, we can only get to channel sizes that are at most 80 megahertz channels. And as you can see, the maximum speed that we can get Wi-Fi 6 today in 5 gigahertz is 1 gigabit per second. Next, we have a Wi-Fi 6E demo where we have a laptop operating in the 6 gigahertz band, exchanging data with a Broadcom access point. And as we can see, because we can make use of wider channels of 160 megahertz, we can get double the speed of what we could get in 5 gigahertz, and that is 2 gigabits per second. And finally, we have what we have all been waiting for, the Wi-Fi 7 demo, where we have a Wi-Fi 7 capable laptop connected to a Broadcom tri-band access point. In this demo, what you can see, we can get to five gigabits per second of speed over the air, and that is no wires, VJ. And that is five times the speed that we can get with our first demo in Wi-Fi 6 in five gigahertz, and two and a half the speed of what we can get in six gigahertz. This is really unprecedented. This I is agree. the first time that this has ever been shown in the industry, cross-vendor interoperability between a, a laptop and an access point. Vijay, what do you think we can achieve with all these? That's a spectacular, Carlos. First of all, I'm just very impressed that the two teams were able to get the, um, this going with five gigabits per second. Now, from my perspective, this five gigabits per second is not just about speeds and feeds for to one laptop. It demonstrates how this multi-gig broadband coming into your homes can actually get to each and every device in your homes, the Intel laptops in this case. So that's just spectacular. Two, I would like to take some time to talk about this partnership that we have going. I think in order for us to realize the value of network capacity and um, the benefits of Wi-Fi 7, it's important for the ecosystem to come together, uh, first of all, to innovate, and secondly, to make sure that they're interoperating with each other. So having a very vibrant, interoperable ecosystem is tremendously important for the uh, 
proliferation of Wi-Fi 7. And to that end, this partnership that we have going, the demos that we're showing here, and the demos that are, go that are going to happen in the future, I'm super excited about it, and that's the right way to go for Wi-Fi 7. Vijay, I couldn't agree more. This is really the example of the partnership that we can bring the best experiences to our users. And what we are doing with Broadcom, that's an example, the best example of what we can do uh, in, this, uh, in this market. And I just wanted to conclude by saying that it's going to be a rolling thunder. This is just the first demo. I expect that Broadcom and Intel, we're going to be working on more demos, showing you some of the other features that are coming up in Wi-Fi 7. So at this time, I just wanted to thank you, Vijay, for being here. Thank you for this partnership. And, you know, let's uh, really create a, an exciting technology that's really going to uh, uh, enable new users in the market. Thank you very much. And thank you, Carlos, and thank you, everybody.